Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tasha Max. And if you're new here, this channel is all about lifestyle. So weekly blogs, travel blogs, you name it. If that's your vibe, then stick around, subscribe, and let's get right into this video. So this week, it's a very special week. It is the first week of fall and with a new season comes new home decor. So the bulk of this video will be me shopping and doing all the things, getting my home ready for the fall season. Last year around this time was when we got here to LA. So I didn't really spend too much time decorating for the fall. I really did decorate for the winter time. And so now that the fall is back around, it is now time to stock up on some fall essentials. And so I wrote out a list because we have a lot to get done today and not a lot of time because the weather is not looking so hot. But anywho, here's here's the list. I have a, I have a whole list. I want to go to Habitat for Humanity um, Restore. There's a couple of locations here in LA. Honestly, y'all, it is such a great place to pick up some gently used or even brand new furniture, home goods, decor. And if you're like renovating, they also sell like hardwood floors, tiles, you name it. Habitat for Humanity Restore has it. And what I love about it is that you never know what you're going to find. And I feel like it's a little bit better than going to a thrift store because you know all the items there are quality. Sometimes thrifting can be like a hit or miss. So yeah, definitely check them out. We actually bought our dining table and our coffee table from Habitat. Bought some pillows from there, brand new pillows. We've picked up a lot there. So we'll see. I'm just going to explore, see what I can find. So after Habitat for Humanity Restore, I also need to go to Home Depot. So in my closet, there is a shelf at the top and there's like a gap in the closet and so I'm trying to close that with like a piece of wood so that I can put another shoe shelf up there so headed to Home Depot for that one thing and then of course you all know the staples for home home decor we have Ross um, Target I want to go to Marshall's and then lastly I also want to hit up Michael's now Michael's is such a great store because there's always a deal or a coupon and I love them because once a season starts, they immediately start rolling back their items. So all of the fall decor are 50% off and fall literally just started. And also because it's fall, I actually wanna show y'all what my favorite fall drink is. Even though I can drink it year round, like throughout the seasons, not even gonna hold y'all, the weather is looking kinda, kinda downcast, but that shouldn't stop me. We're shopping inside, indoors. So hopefully there's not too much traffic. People don't know how to drive in the rain for real, so I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that, yeah, there's not a lot of traffic and the roads are safe. And honestly, I love the fall season here in LA because like we get, like it doesn't get super cold here, which I can really appreciate because I'm, I've never been a huge fan of the cold, but it's enough to where you feel like the seasons change and believe it or not, the leaves also turn here as well. I was not expecting that. Uh, the leaves turn, the leaves fall off the trees, all the things. So like even now I'm looking out the window and I can see um, where like everything used to be green. I see some yellows coming in. I see some reds coming in. So I love that. I really did not expect that for California. But I will say we have like a lot of false starts to fall. So the temperature will drop and it'll be really cold in the evening, especially with the, the maritime breeze coming in from the ocean. And then it goes back up a week later to being in like the 80s, the 90s and whatnot. So I'm not mad at it because it's not like a humid heat. And honestly, this reminds me that I might just need to do like a one year in LA, one year in California, like life update because it's been a year since we moved out here, y'all, which I think is crazy because uh, I remember moving here like it was yesterday. So yeah, stay tuned. That's probably coming sometime in the near future because 
yeah, let's talk about it. I get questions all the time about like, how is it living out there in a space that's like so expensive? When we first moved out here, I just remember everyone saying like, be careful of the people. They may not be like who you seem. It's like very transactional. And honestly, y'all, I have not had that that experience at all. So I'll save that all of that for another video. But if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below so that I can respond to them in that video. I forgot to mention, I probably won't talk in like while I shop just so I can focus on shopping and so that like this video doesn't turn out to be like an hour long because I can yap and that's not, that's not what we're doing today. So I'm gonna take y'all along, show you what I pick up versus what I don't and all of the things. And we'll come back home, debrief, show you all the items and everything that I bought. With that being said, let's go hit these stores and spend some money. I need to step back 
constantly online, causing me setbacks. Every day, see so many people doing the things you do, and they're doing it better too. It's like, why should I even try when there's always some other guy who's way ahead of you but makes it look easy? Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now. I'm just being needy. I try not to envy you, to get angry you, do it better than me. I try not to hate myself, to lose confidence, but you always do it better. Alrighty, y'all. So this is all that I got. I don't mind chance in the background. I got this base from Ross. This candle, Autumn Forest. It smells really good. I'm trying to lay everything out so that I know exactly where I want things to go. These candles. I'll do like a close up of everything in a little bit. They picked up this vase. This was from Habitat for Humanity Restore. If y'all have not shopped there before, I it's a 10 out of 10. You never know what you're gonna find. There was a lot of great deals. It was 40% off because it was like a manager special. So I picked up 10 frames, some spray. This, because it has a chip, I was able to get, it was $5 originally. I was able to get it down to $2. So this, the spray, 10 uh, really nice picture frames for 28 bucks. That's a great deal. If I did, do say so myself. Okay, there's some stuff from Target. I needed some vase fillers. So we have some florals, some cute woven pumpkins. So it's not fall or autumn without pumpkins. So got these from Target. Some stuff for me to be able to hang my pictures up. I got tablecloth for my dining room table. Got these really cute oven mitts. They, all, I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but they have this like silicone like grippy to help with grabbing like pots and pans. So pick that up as well. It's just like a cute little dice that has different like fall themed sayings on each of the sides. Mm -hmm. I had to buy some new shampoo for my son, Chance. We'll see how this goes. This is two in one pet shampoo and conditioner. We've been using Furminator for the past like few months and that's gone pretty well, but I'm going to try something new and hopefully you can do it. And then we have Michaels. I think Michaels was one of the best hauls, if you will. Pro tip, if you are shopping for your home or someone else's home, whatever, if you need decor, Michaels is a really great spot because there's literally a sale or a coupon every single day. So everything was either 50% off or 40% off regular price. So I got some camp pillar candles as like some decorated pieces. So I got two of these sides. I also got some larger candlesticks. Um, I have some candle holders that I want to purchase. So I got those. And then this size as well. Still from Michaels. Some more vase fillers and some scented pine cones. And these smell so good. This scent is pecan caramel. Hmm. Not what I thought it was, but it smells great. Love it. And then another cut of candles. And that is it for the haul. I'll show y'all a little close up of everything that I got. And now it's time to start styling. So a couple of areas, the entryway, my dining table, and then our TV console area is bare. So is our living room table. So those are the places that we're focused on today. Cleaned everything already, and now it's just time to decorate.
Good morning, y'all. Don't mind Chance eating his breakfast in the background. I'm actually about to make my own breakfast. But before I do, I want to show y'all how I make my favorite fall drink. And honestly, like I said, I think I said this earlier, I can drink this throughout the year. But I love pulling it out, especially for the fall, because it's just such a cozy drink to have. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I make my iced chai tea lattes at home, because it just tastes better. It's made with more love, and it's likely cheaper than me going to buy it at a coffee shop. So let's get right into it. I like to make mine in a mason jar. So I'm gonna start there, but first we need ice. So here's what we're using y'all. We have our ice. We're using this non-dairy oat br brown sugar oat creamer from Trader Joe's. I swear by this stuff. If you're a coffee drinker, this is also great in coffee. I'm not a huge coffee fan, so. You're also gonna need another glass to froth your, your milk in. I get my spiced chai from Trader Joe's as well. So, if you, this drink sponsored by Trader Joe's. <laughs> you also need almond milk. Whatever almond milk you usually use is fine. I use silk. And I also like to add some caramel uh, skinny syrup. And I think I picked this up from like Marshalls or something. Okay, now that we have everything here that we need, we're gonna start this off by adding our chai into our glass. The first, so first we're gonna add our milk in here. bit of milk that it's safe space for the creamer which honestly after the chai is the star of the show with some added caramel not much if you don't have a frother that's fine you don't actually have to do this step but I'm just showing y'all what I do this is all frothed I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into our drink here we go and that is my chai let's give it a taste and there you have it folks my iced chai I'm gonna give it a cute little stir yes mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna sip on this while I make breakfast, have my quiet time and all the things, and I will see y'all later.